नमस्कार माय नेम इज अश्विन कुमार हियर वेलकम टू वन मोर सेशन ऑन रूरल टूरिज्म व्हाट आर वी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर टुडे टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर द चैप्टर 5 द फाइनल एस्पेक्ट बेनिफिट्स एंड चैलेंजेस ऑफ रूरल टूरिज्म सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट जस्ट अ स्मॉल रिव्यू सस्टेनेबल एंड रिस्पांसिबल टूरिज्म डेवलपमेंट कम्युनिटी इन्वॉल्वमेंट इन रूरल टूरिज्म पार्टनरशिप इन रूरल टूरिज्म डेवलपमेंट विजिटर मैनेजमेंट इन द लास्ट सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट इट देन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट बेनिफिट्स and challenges of rural tourism which we are going to discuss now what are the benefits and challenges what are the benefits for residents swift and holistic infrastructural development a tourist destination needs to be attractive to the potential visitors they must have the basic amenities in the form of rest houses electricity water supply sanitation and sewerage facilities very important is the sanitation and the sewerage facilities the accessibility of these areas will also need improvement developing rural areas as tourist destination will result in the holistic development of their infrastructure the allure of economic benefits will drive the authorities to develop these areas at a faster pace definitely the government will take a key role in this interaction with the outside world presently rural areas are considered remote areas with the minimal connect- connectivity and interaction the residents interact with the visitors from the neighboring regions With the onset of rural tourism, people from diverse geographical and educational backgrounds will visit these underdeveloped areas, interact with the locals, enhancing their knowledge and skills. It's all about sharing knowledge and skills with proper attitude. What is skill development and job creation? As the concept gains popularity, large number of tourists throng the rural areas. The local arts and crafts will be appreciated to a large extent. Also. the residents will uh, will be trained in skills relevant to the hospitality and tourism industry new job profiles will emerge such as guides event planners accommodation managers caterers etc then all this results in improved rural economy as these areas will witness arrival of tourists the economic condition of rural areas will improve here we say the footfalls the footfalls is the arrival of tourists especially the ftas foreign tourist arrivals and dtas domestic tourist arrivals now the benefits for the tourists experience a different lifestyle tourists who spend most of their lives in urban areas will get the opportunity to break free from the frantic atmosphere of cities and experience the tranquil atmosphere of villages getting closer to the nature in due course of time urban areas have drifted away from nature yes we are totally in living in a concrete jungle if you visit all the metropolitan areas and everything we are fast developed reality and the real estate if you can see it we are moving at a very faster pace towards the concrete jungle we are moving away from the nature time to come back to nature that is what rural tourism offers to each one of us enhanced quality of life the combined effect of the individual benefits will result in a much better quality of life for both for the tourist as well as the host it's a mutual exchange that is happening mutual beneficial exchange that is happening qualitatively and quantitatively that adds to the impetus that adds to the growth to the both on spiritual level materialistic level too now what are the challenges challenges are adapting to the pastoral way of living how convenient would it be for the visitors to adapt the pastoral life in villages the balance between retaining the village infrastructure and developing facilities for the convenience of the tourists need to be considered point number 1 what are we saying here what are the local infrastructure development can be done it has to start basically with the kitchen the kind of kitchen the kind of food that we serve to our guests how are we ser- serving it that takes lot of importance so we have to serve our guests in a proper way in a qualitative way and you know the hygiene takes lot of importance here next important after consuming the food where do they go they use the restrooms the restrooms definitely i have been insisting on my previous videos also that the restrooms should be there in western commode western commode plays a lot of importance for boosting rural tourism yes yeah you might be laughing at it but that's that's a fact then pressure on natural resources as more tourists visit these areas there will be greater consumption of food and water thereby increasing all these additional things that come in with them 
just now we have discussed in the previous session about the Joshi Math episode. Increased number of tourists again bring in the negative aspects is lot of plastic bottles do come in. Increased waste management. So, very very important is the how do we manage the waste that comes. Can it be recycled? Can it be reused? Let us find out. Waste management. The amount of waste generated will increase with an increase in the visiting population. The waste generation and its consequences such as plastic pollution need to be kept in check. As I told you previously, the district collector at Nilgiris and most of the other places also that the district collector of Nilgiris, uh, Mrs. Divya Innocent has taken a very major initiative to stop all plastics coming into the Nilgiris area. Apart from that, so many people have taken lots of initiatives that needs to be shared and explored. I have seen this personally, that is why I am sharing it. Adaptability of native population. The resident population which is not averse with the urban culture, especially of people from foreign lands, might face difficulty in accepting the new visitors. The authorities will have to intervene through regulations to not to disturb the culture of the native population. It is a very important aspect which I would like to share few moments. A foreigner coming in with a foreign you know different mindset to India has to respect its Indian rural culture tradition. At the same time, we as host, we as part of Indian rural community have to respect the foreigners taste also. So, that is why we need a particular tourist guide who is a very good moderator who can understand both the sides and can really explain the benefits to both the sides. It should be a proper mod moderator that is why the training of the tourist guides and especially on the cultural aspect plays a key role. They are the typically the tourist guides are the brand ambassadors for this entire rural tourism promotion. Every aspect whether it is a rural cab operator, the person who is serving in the restaurant, the person who is taking care and you know of the visitors around the village very very important. You need to have lot of patience, smiling, the customer service, all the qualities, the skills required. Then comes environmental quality. As waste generation and pressure on natural resources increases, the environmental quality would tend to deteriorate. Maintaining harmony with the environment will be a major challenge. Failure to do so might prove fatal to the endemic flora and fauna, especially to the biodiversity. We need to protect the biodiversity of the rural areas the constant keeping of the vehicular pollution, the petrol filled vehicles or the diesel filled vehicles that move around, they kill the biodiversity. So, it is our responsibility to protect the nature and especially in the rural areas. Here, we are discussing about Meghalaya. East Khasi Hills in Meghalaya, how about walking on 1000 years old living foot bridge, Moglong. The emerging name in the village tourism in India is famed for these bridges and its commitment towards mother nature. The surreal beauty of this village will render you in a state of awe. Flaunting the title of God's own garden, the village is a mystic heaven. So, please take time to visit Meghalaya. When we say Meghalaya, we already talk about Shillong, we already talk about Cherapunji. And right now, this particular East Khasi Hills is also getting a name for having you know beating the record of Cherapunji also, 365 days rains. Next Puri, Odisha. Many of the exceptional arts emerged from these villages. One such art is applique artwork which has been brought much of the fame for Pipli. Dating back to 10th century, the village was a home to the craftsmen who were masters in the art of making canopies for the annual Rath Yatra of the Jagannath temple. Jai Jagannath and amplic umbrellas. The exceptional skills of the artisans prevail in the entire village in the forms of vibrant things. So, I need not tell lot of, we have got lot of foreign tourists coming to the holy place of uh, Puri while visiting the Jagannath temple. And you have seen in the image also the entire applic work, all this peeply work, you know if you can encourage buying them, if you can learn also and take it back to your native country or to your native place can be a real boost to those artisans there. Ran of Kutch in Gujarat, believed to be established by the Halopatra clan, Hodka offers remote desert village experience, remote desert village experience, reckoned as one of the rural travel destinations in India. 
The village is dotted with traditional houses each with a different design and pattern. Mud houses are also designed that they remain cool from inside during the summer and warm during winter. A trip to Hodka leaves a long lasting impression on visitors. Fantastic place. Can you imagine the kind of a concept of a house that is being constructed where it remains warm during winter and cool during summer? It's it by itself it's an engineering marvel, civil engineering marvel. Shouldn't we learn more from that? The next Sikkim Gangtok. Feel the rustic magic amidst the twisting glacial rivers, gushing waterfalls, and remarkable fruit orchards, both Lashung and Lachen exude sublime beauty and thus are considered as the most picturesque villages in India. While Lashung comes with complete serenity, Lashen excites with a number of adventurous activities. This makes them rank in the list of the best places in Northeast India for memorable vacations. So, there is two particular villages which we are saying Lachung and Lachen. Okay? So, please visit these places in Sikkim and Gangtok and you have to go to Bagdogra airport. Kolkata airport again you have to visit Bagdogra airport from Bagdogra airport you have got lot of cab operators taking you to Gangtok. Next comes Leh and Ladakh. Out a number of Brokapa villages only two villages namely Dha and Hanu are open to the public. Bask in the warmth of villages which you won't get anywhere else in the Leh. Another striking features of these villages is their people who are bestowed with a fair complexion, blue colored eyes and Indo-Aryan look. The unique dressing style also makes the village of Da and Hanu to rank among the best rural travel destinations in India, especially Leh and Ladakh. If you are travelling to Leh and Ladakh, one important aspect is people from uh, who are having uh, you know, asthma and kind of a thing, the shortage of oxygen shortage will be there. So, the most of the time the cab operators will be carrying oxygen cylinders too there. So, my dear friends, please make sure that you know your people who your co-traveller is there, make sure you know the health imp is important. So, oxygen levels tend to dip down. So, you have to maintain those oxygen levels and fantastic beautiful place and you have to please take the season into con consideration which is the best time to travel there. Just avoiding the winters is better before the onset of winters and the rains especially in the hilly areas is better because to avoid the landslides and a lot of traffic jams that will happen. So, there are times that you might miss the flights and the connecting trains also. So, please check the weather report and travel especially for traveling the hilly area and hilly terrains. Next comes Kumon, Uttarakhand. Beautifully tucked amongst the Kumon hills, Munsiari is bounded by dense forest and snow capped mountains. River Gori Ganga adorns a beautiful hamlet and makes it a must visit place for adventure enthusiasts and nature lovers. Jaw dropping background of the Panchali accounts for the popularity of the wonderland as the best rural place to visit in India. Definitely Kumaon, Uttarakhand, lovely place, fantastic place and fantastic hill station area and weather is also plays a very important aspect here. So, that is why you can visit the Kumaon hills also and we have a regiment also Kumaon regiment in the Indian army. Then comes Punjab, Ludhiana, seeking for some action, heat towards Kila Raipur. The annual Kila Raipur sports festival is a full of action packed games and sports which won't allow you to take your eyes off the players even for a second. Though the highlight of the fiesta is a bullock cart race, but the other offbeat events keep the audience engaged equally. This one of the best rural destinations in India offering authentic feeling of Punjab. Especially if you can see in the image a person who is riding a three horses together. And like this you got many other things that happenings in Kila Raipur in Punjab. Next is Assam. An enthralling ride to the other side of the Brahmaputra river will take you to Majoli. Exhibiting immense beauty, the island was once titled as the world's largest river island, but unfortunately it is slowly and steadily disappearing. Due to distinctiveness in heritage and culture, the island is also inscribed in the tentative list of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Hats off to people of Majoli who showcase an exemplary skill of mask making which is renowned worldwide. Then comes Karaikudi in Tamil Nadu. Do not be surprised to see the houses made up of using limestone. I repeat, do not be surprised to see the houses made up of using limestone. The unique style helps Karaikudi to steal the lime as one of the best rural places to visit India. The town is so attractive that it has featured in as many as South Indian films. 
does if you find any film shooting going on there which is a very common thing do not forget to take the autograph of the actor there are many. So, we have to visit Karaikudi very famous and very historical, uh, historical place in Tamil Nadu. Next coming to a video on incredible, incredible India which is of 5 minute duration please watch this it showcases lots of uh, you know video of many historical sites and rural sites. Thank you very much for watching this video. Jai Hind.